वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल दैट इज फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथ्स विच इज डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वे गोन टू सॉल्व अ क्वेश्चन विच वॉज आज इन वन ऑफ दीज एंट्रेंसेज सो योर दे व सपोज टू द स्टूडेंट्स टू सपोज टू फाइंड द टोटल नंबर ऑफ प्राइम फैक्टर्स फॉर दीज काइंड ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स गिवेन ओके सो नाउ बिफोर बिगनिंग विद दिस यू नीड टू क्लियरली अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज अ प्राइम फैक्टर okay so let's take for example we'll take this one so see understand prime factor is nothing but what a number whose like for example let me say for 6 6 can be written as what 2 into 3 both of them are in what prime numbers so basically you represent any number in the form of its prime numbers so here instead of 6 i can write this as what 2 into 3 the whole raised to 10 into 7 raised to 17 why i have written that because i can't break 7 further because 7 itself is a prime number similarly 11 also can't be broken further because 11 itself is a prime number so this can now change to what 2 raised to 10 into 3 raised to 10 Into seven raised to seventeen into twenty. Sorry, eleven raised to twenty-seven. Okay. So now coming to your question, we need to find the total number of prime factors. Okay. So basically, what you do is total is equals to you just add all the indices. So in this case, we do ten plus ten twenty. Twenty plus seven is thirty. Seventeen is thirty. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven plus twenty-seven gets you. Um, so fifty-seven plus seven gets you sixty-four. So these are your total number of prime factors for this particular question. Students, before going ahead, if you like the way I'm explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of. videos also don't forget at the end i'm going to put up a diy question whose answers you all can mention in the comment section okay so now coming to the first question okay so here what we have is c we have 8 so what happens is 8 can be written as what 4 into 2 and this 4 can be written as what 2 into 2 so basically can i say 8 is nothing but 2 into 2 into 2 Please do not make the mistake of representing eight as four into two. Uh, I'll tell you why. Because this becomes now what two into two into two. That becomes what? Can I write this as something but two cube? The whole raised to twenty. Okay. Had you taken eight as four into two, then it would have become what two into four. The whole raised to twenty, and that would lead to getting the wrong total of number of prime numbers. Okay. Similarly, fifteen can be written as what three into five, the whole raised to twenty-four, and nine nine is nothing but what three square, the whole raised to fifteen. Okay, so now this comes out to be two raised to sixty because we know that whenever we have something like this two two raised to three, the whole raised to twenty, we can just multiply the indices. This can be written as what three raised to twenty-four into five raised to twenty-four. Into three raised to two, the whole raised to fifteen can be written as what? Three raised to two into fifteen that comes out to be thirty. So your final answer, final answer is now what? Sixty plus twenty-four plus twenty-four plus thirty. Okay, so twenty-four plus twenty-four is forty-eight. Forty-eight and ninety. So when you add ninety to forty-eight. You will get the final answer. Final answer as one thirty-eight. That is your answer for this particular question. So I hope now this is understandable for every one. Okay. Now please understand. This was very very okay because you know you could actually figure out how to break a prime factor or how to find out the prime factors. If you don't, then I've made a separate video of that. How to find prime factors? I'll put up the link of it somewhere in the top as well as in the description. Okay, so please go ahead and check that video as well. Okay, so now please understand. Here we have 3.5 the whole raised to 10, and here we have 2.7 the whole raised to 10. Similarly, here we have 10 raised to 25. 
so now please here what we can write this as nothing but what let's write them in fraction form okay this can be written as what 27 the upon 10 into sorry 10 the whole raised to 25 okay so now here please understand if you can you want to cancel you can cancel but it will lead to some negative indices as well why am i saying this is because we have 10 and 10 over here and in the numerator also we have something in tens so let's keep the tens as it is so this can be written as what 5 into 7 the whole raised to 10 and this 10 so please understand 1 upon a the whole raised to m is nothing but what a raised to minus m you can put the, you can shift your denominator to the numerator and just in put the index as negative for that particular fraction so we can write this as nothing but 10 raised to minus 10 this is what 27 27 is nothing but what 3 cube the whole raised to 10 again this 10 can be written as what 10 raised to minus 10 and this is 10 raised to 25 okay so now breaking this we get what 5 raised to 10 into 7 raised to 10 into so 10 raised to minus 10 10 raised to minus 10 that gets you what 10 raised to minus 20 this becomes 10 3 raised to 30 and this becomes 10 raised to 25 why have i added the indices because when the bases are same and we are doing a product of the bases then the indexes can be directly added so now this comes out to be what 5 raised to 10 into 7 raised to 10 into 3 raised to 30 into 10 raised to 25 minus 20 so that becomes 10 raised to 5 so your final answer for this particular one would now come out to be what 10 plus 10 that's 20 20 plus 30 gets you 50 50 plus 5 gets you 55 okay so that is the total number of factors prime factors for this particular question i hope this is super easy now for anyone if this comes up in your exam okay so now coming to your diy i'm going to write down 12 raised to 12 into 11 raised to 11 into 13 raised to 13 do let me know your answers in the comment section and um, also don't forget if you have any doubts then please let me know so about them as well in the comment section so that's it for today i will definitely see you in the next video till then don't forget to give a like and subscribe to my channel